Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome back to The Hanged Man. Now, if you want to keep up to date with my uploads I put on my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel today. But anyways, let's get back to The Hanged Man and into this new room of mysteries and whatnot. So what is within here that we decide to skip away our sides? Oh, there above, okay. I was just thinking, are those bags on the ground or are they stuff event okay kitchen uh can we go in the kitchen we can go in the kitchen uh wooden boxes wooden boxes a stink a, so a sink it's sticky with grime and dust my dad must have just got on a stove it's not lit not lit Dirty kitchen counter, dirty kitchen counter, refrigerator, it will not open, a pile of jute bags, nothing on the shelves, nothing on the shelves, nothing on the shelves, nothing on the shelves. Let's see, what's this way, Van? Oh, there's an object there, but I think that's too simple to try and go in straight away. Let's observe this room for a bit to make sure that we're not going to be able to miss any uh, miss out on anything. But if we do miss out on anything, then we're probably going to be sure to be noticed by that. A transport elevator. Something's inside, but it won't open. Okay. So this is just a look at all... Do we have anything? Um, forgetting where we are, actually. Kitchen. Okay, we're in the storeroom. But still, what the hell can we do in this scenario? Oh, we can't go out. Someone's coming. Hide somewhere. Okay. Um, where can we hide? Like, where can we hide? Keith? Yeah. Keith Bearing? Yeah, it is Keith Bearing. Weren't you that runaway kid at the hotel yesterday? How'd you know? What are you doing in a place like this? What's your name? Why aren't you in school? I have no idea why I'm in school. Why I'm not in school. Well, at any rate, this is a restricted area. Come on, get a reader. How'd you even know I was here, Mr. Bearing? You don't say. Shivering. Lean to the name of the game. Just like that. Hmm. I have a perspective of a room. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's the first time we've seen him talk. <laughs> I've, I don't think Keith did anything. I shouldn't laugh, but...
Yeah. I would never fight people. Sure, but you know better. Maybe he kept that rat in your pocket because you thought you wouldn't know. But he did, didn't he? <laughs> 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 What's your name? It's none of your business. Get going, Chris. I don't think the snow stops anytime soon. Hmm. Damn it. <laughs> oh, duh. Is that going to be so easy? I'll be fine on my own. Right, Pop? Why'd you keep calling him Pop like if he's your dad? He's not my dad. Save up quick and let's keep on going. Is there anything in here, though? That's what I'm wondering. Is there literally nothing in here? It won't open? Hmm. Any secrets in this room? Anything that we can find that will help us. Because I remember in the Crooked Man and the Boogeyman especially that some of these clues or these puzzles were quite hard to solve without resorting to a walkthrough. It's like, it's just that little thing in the corner that does it all. Not the thing that's giant and obvious. I prefer a balance of giant and obvious and not so obvious and out of the way. But not, if it's all out of the way and unobvious, then it's just going to be a horrible time. I'm glad we looked at that room from a different perspective, because now we know what's up there. Hmm. That gate's open now. Let's go up here then. Hmm. Okie dokie, we haven't been this way yet. I don't believe that this gate was open gate was open before. Sleeves or oh, shelves, sorry, not sleeves. Shelves, there's nothing here. And this room. Oh golly. It's one of like one of those puzzles in the boogeyman where there's lots of different rooms, but one or two of them have something slightly different in them and very important to completing a particular puzzle. If you know the boogeyman, then you know what I mean. It's within that castle. Within that castle, near the end of the game, we have certain different jail cells. But this time around, it's just little cells. Dirty bad. I'm checking absolutely everything. Because one of these may have something important. And if you don't check everything, you're going to miss out. But then again, even if I do check everything, there's still that possibility that, you know what... You're just not going to find it this time around, mate. Go around and try again. Handman. Handman. And his name is Handman. The other people that we saw in the game, well, probably not the incarnation of the Crooked Man, is probably this individual that's called the Handman, because... The Boogeyman and the Sandman, they were actually physical entities. But I believe that this that the Crooked Man from the Crooked Man and uh, the, the individual called the Hangman in this game are both not entirely physical entities, but somewhat paranoia, paranormal as well. Hmm. Has any of these got some... I didn't even check behind these, so... I may have missed something out by not checking on the bottom side of the bed rather than just necessarily the sides. Hmm. See, so yeah, I didn't really have much of an opportunity to record another video yesterday simply because this game dropped at like 8 o'clock in the evening from where I'm living. And I was like, oh my god, I had a rush to get one video done and dusted. Not as in, like, it's a rush job. I love making videos, especially if it's on, like, iconic games. Iconic developers. Well, I'm going to say, like, that's a celebrity icon. Not like that, but iconic is, in, like, well recognizable. So, yeah. Hmm. Giving us for creeps. Uh, can't go on that side. Sink. A locker of some sorts. Check every part of the sink. 
Mm. One of these is gonna have something gru gruesome. Nope. 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 Ember don't work on this side neither. Okay, doggy. Hmm, it's a bit strange, but then again, there's a lack of space which you can actually see, so that's a good point in them. Uh, let's go further down, I suppose. No, go up. Go up. Go up the facility. Oh, again. Again with these... Oh my gosh. Have we already been here? I don't want to feel like I've already been here, because that's a bit silly. Uh, part of the monotonous process of the game is that sometimes it may get a little monotonous. The same things happen over and over again, but you know what? you just got to be patient and knuckle down with it. Unless, of course, you're looking for a walkthrough whilst playing this game, and therefore you've already sold it, I think. And that ruins the mystery of it entirely. Mostly. Not what a dialogue pops up, but you know what the puzzles do. Uh, but there's, there's so many rooms here, for goodness sakes. So many rooms, and I'm thinking that maybe all of them are just entirely unnecessary. But I don't want to think that, because maybe one of these rooms have something special in them. Or maybe they just maybe they just all walk to exactly the same room, and what we're doing right now is that we are, we are inspecting exactly the same bed, exactly the same properties, tens of times over <laughs> imagine if that was the case you know you go into a room you know it has exactly the same maybe there was something on the table there one time around no i'm, I'm visualizing the chairs that were green square on there but yeah it would be very bizarre if we just found exactly a exact an exact aspect of every single component in every single one of these rooms it just it doesn't seem like at the moment we're finding anything, and that's really bad for our chances of progressing through the game. Nope. It's probably going to be the first point where I need to crop up the video so that it reduces monotonous processes like this. But hey, you know, it's still the start of the game, so good things await for us. Only good things. Bad for these characters, but good things for these characters. Hmm. So, yeah, you will see reflection of Keith's losses, well, probably, throughout the game in itself. And he is pretty numb to certain events like people who are Hun, for example. People, yeah, there's one example in the Boogeyman where we play as Keith. We go upstairs, we find a Boogeyman for the first time, and literally there's a figure there who is... A doll, spoiler alert, and literally uh, the boogeyman just cut that doll's head off. And the set, and essentially, we thought that that was, I think it was like the owner of the castle or something like that. I feel like I've been here before and it's really annoying. Now there's something happening. Yeah, I do as well. I do as well, mate. It's not just you. I feel like we're going through exactly the same place. So let's trigger the puzzle off by keep on going up and down. Up and down, up and down. Who the hell is restricting me in this space? Maybe this used to save a floor number. Come to think of it, what floor am I on? No idea, damn it. Where'd that jerk go? Oh my goodness sakes. Red spray can. This place seems abandoned. Should be fine, right? There's signs of something having been erased. You've marked it with spray paint. So what does that do for us? Oh... Right down the six. I don't know what I'm meant to do here. Uh, any signs of progress would be very good. But it looks like this is just going to be a horrific conundrum. Again with that. And I've just... I 
Are you for real? What am I doing? Oh my. Okay, these doors have all been opened. Okie dokie, what was the point of all that now? Jimmy's chairs. I don't any one of them have got anything to suspect. Go in this room. This place gives me a really bad feeling. You want kid? I don't blame you. I really don't blame you. This gives me a bad feeling as well of a place which is likely going to just leave me around in circles. It opened up this room. Let me open. Okay, so what can we find in here? This is just the other side. So basically you gave me a key to unlock an area which has absolutely nothing in it. Well done. Thank you very much. I wish I used that key somewhere else now. Uh, one thing I don't like is going into an area which has a absolutely no meaning. Oh, this is the other side. Yes, I understand that. But what the heck am I meant to do? Is that a kettle downstairs or it's just my ears? Literally, there's nothing in that room. Not one thing is in that room. Like, what's the point of opening it up if there's nothing in it? Yes, there was something there. Right over there, but still nothing there. Oh, we can go outside, but we still haven't found our pet yet. Hmm... Can I... Pop. If I leave... If I left without Pop, I'd be a real scumbag. Can't leave without Pop. Well, he's a... <laughs> I do, there's nothing to solve in there! There's literally nothing to solve! I can kind of hear something. A man crying? Unless, of course, it may be somewhere else. Don't know where to find this guy, even if he is around here. Just go to the end here. Yeah. Maybe there's something in here. It's a sound louder in here. Okay, who the heck's crying? Can I intervene in some way? 
I've already checked everything so many times. Do I actually need to check under everything? There's something here. There's something written on my desk. The monster's driving me out of here. I don't want to leave. Repeat five more times. You don't want to leave. Oh, that's the same thing. Okie dokie. So is there anything else in here? See, I, my philosophy of it, there's something different in one of these rooms is definitely true. Because that is a case where that is true. Come on. Come on. Is there anything else here? Ah, oh, we've made it to the top. Thank you. There's a notice about interviews on the bulletin board. Patients seen to leave the hospital must be interviewed by the doctor, no, their doctor, by within one week. There's a building map of the bulletin board. Oh my gosh, so many floors and so... Oh, 1411 is cut off. Why? And, yeah, that's the, um... A scenario. Take the map. Why would I want to put it back on? That just seems a bit inconvenient. Okay, dokie. So we don't know which floor we're on. That's the question. This needs to be locked from the inside. Will not open. And it won't open. Anything back here? Nope, there's nothing there. That's fine. In a way. So looking at this particular one, 411 is, right, hold on, this must be the fourth floor here, now we're going to go to this one over here, it won't open, it's been painted over with concrete, there's a small gap under the door, small gap, I don't know. Okie dokie, that was unexpected. And there's blood on the bed. Great, a dirty bed. There's a star dark red stain on it. Hmm. There's something under the bed. A letter? My beloved Alec, I heard you are being moved to the back building in two weeks. I suppose I'll never get to meet you again. If you can still understand me at all, read this letter carefully. One week from now, I'll come see you. Sit at the rightmost spot, oh, the rightmost seat in the visiting room. I'll have a knife under the table. Take it with you in secret. There will be two there, but only take one. Arkin will bring you, will bring the other one to you if you fail. Arkin has told me he'll definitely get this letter to you. Once you've read this, hide it and don't show anyone. Because if anyone finds this, it will mean trouble for Arkin, your loving mother. Visiting room, so it must mean that I need to get a knife from somewhere in a visiting room. Uh, where was the visiting room? Uh, we, um, where's the other map? Was there an exam room or something? I don't think it was here, I think it was somewhere else. Okie dokie, that took a lot longer than it needed to in order to trigger. I'm not gonna lie, that was very stupid. Rightmost spot. Well, maybe it's one of the other ones, but you never know. Visiting room, visiting room, visiting room, visiting room, visiting room. How is that the rightmost spot? Unless you're looking at it from the other side, how is that the rightmost spot? Illogical. Something between, yeah. Got obtain a knife. Thank you very much for that. So, what can we do with that now? Can we... Yeah. Subway almost got us. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me, indeed. Where can we go next? 
Who dares situate themselves here? Who would find themselves wanting? I keep doing that. I don't think we need to go up there anymore to find some. Do we need this to go to get the item in a certain way? Can we go through here, get to the area, and then hopefully we can use this can we use this knife to get through here? No, it's not that. What could we use it on though? Ah, pop. Went underneath there. Okie dokie, you want to make this difficult? Can we use a knife to just get in that room? As soon as we find it, it's now difficult to try and get in there. Right, what can we do from here now? Well, we've already been through the entire facility, so pretty much nothing really. Complete illogicalness. Well, that makes a lot of sense. And then he happens when that rat goes through. Okay, we'll go through here. There's a hole near the bottom of a wall. Light is coming through from the neighboring room. Proceed through the hole itself. Hmm. Another person here. Hi. Are you were fine. And yourself? Searching for what? Yeah. Have we got a notebook? <laughs> Thank you. Um, small notebook, small notebook. No, you're not this guy. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going, and you can't stop me. So, one, why I keep doing this, trying to be too illogical about my searches. So maybe what I'm going to need to do is just go in each room, see if there are any event changes, and go from there. Because I keep searching everywhere in every tile. And that's really annoying, because that's time consuming. Like, really, really time consuming. Well then, I'm glad that was an event. I was just about to go silent then. But let's go in here, number layers. Side on the other side. There it is again. It sounds like someone crying. I don't know, the audio is really quiet. System. No, the background and the other volume is at 100%, so there shouldn't be any problems with that. No problems, no, nothing on the shelf. Mirror, mirror. Mirror. 
mirror. Go through here. Ah, we have more here. All good for us. Empty cans of juice. More like empty cans of lemonade or Coca-Cola or something like that. Something here. Hey, I know that's a piece of as a letter there, but why? Oh, pile of old documents. Who the hell deep keeps on doing this? Mirror. You can see through the other side. I thought I heard sobbing from the other room, but there's no one there. Is there? Great. You do that and. Huh? Well, that fainted him. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is why I hate the dark. Because they all there's always something there. It's all in your head, little man. Nothing. I need to turn this up. This is really quiet. Let's not skip the scenes. We have lots of work to do. Who the hell is that man? When it's night and the room goes dark, he always appears. He never says a word. He's just there. He must be a Mimi. Mimi. I try to call for Mom, but it's pointless. He disappears once the light comes in. Just who is he? Does he want to tell me something? Is he my friend? Or is he... Something... Okay. You. What did you come here for? I don't know why I came here for. Did you find your back? I did, but he ran off. Sure love a fine life out in the water. <laughs> now, how about you give up and head home? Since you're really important. Huh? How do you <laughs> word of advice? When you run from home, don't bring your two knives. <laughs> yeah. Investigating. Are you sure? I think. Huh? I said give it back. Why do you know David? Does he know you? Yep. It's none of your business. Really? Well, go off and look for your bag. <laughs> Cold. You come with me. I'm scared walking around here on my own. Yep, you was. Even with a rat. You just laughed, didn't you? <laughs> liar. Oh, I'm the liar. Why would you be getting scared now? You were walking around here just fine earlier. Because Pop was with me. That's why I could still handle it. Okay. If Pop's there, I'm fine. I listen to Pop. Always be okay. <laughs> I should have known. I shouldn't have come here. Way out to this town. And all this snow. Pop tried to stop me. He said I shouldn't. But I kept insisting. You and your head, kid. 
really think you're as tough as you are. You ought to be tough. Yeah. Tough doesn't doesn't come back. What do I do? It's so cold. And I'm all alone. Hey now. Don't cry. You're 14, right? You can't go crying that easily. I'm not crying. Liar. <laughs> His right leg's bent. There's a little fur missing on it. All right. If I catch him, I'll bring him to you. But don't get your hopes up. You can keep searching for him, but be ready to give up if you don't find him. And I stay here past nightfall. Got that? You won't come with me? Do I look like I came here for a relaxing stroll? I'm busy with work here. Just who are you? I'm a detective. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Straight back at you. Well, what's your name? I get on your way. I knew he was Keith all along. A cloof bag. Maybe it's Keith's. All the years you suffered. Those were the best years of your life. George. George Schmeid. <laughs> Are you sure? Yep, I will get yellow if I look inside. Now this room's um uh, is unlocked. Hey Keith, did you unlock the store? Who knows? Well, it's been unlocked already. Yeah, well I couldn't access it earlier. Well, that's all good. Obtain the key for what though? What kind of key? It says document room. That's nice to see. Nice to know. Uh, um, hey, what kind of building is this anyway? A hospital? It was an old mental hospital. Hmm. It got shut down ages ago, though. After millionaire Jim Corp bought it before it, it was repurposed as a homeless shelter for a few years. Who gets? A place the homeless could call home. Ooh. Is that incident 15 years ago thing true? What was it about? Sorry, I'm not really one to tell spooky stories, but people lie with what they can. <laughs> Sorry. This building's strange. There are these shadows or something. Locked doors opening up all of a sudden. Locked doors? Well, that be me. Huh? Unlike you, little trespasser, I have permission to be here. Though I also borrowed some of your keys. Of course it's old. So lots been locked up time. But still, there are these shadow things. They're moving all around. Oh, yeah. Shadows everywhere. Because it's dark. And you're freaked out. And you think they're moving. Thank you very much, Keith, for giving some enlightenment. You can see the other room from here, but you can't see you can't see him in here from there. Being watched from a mirror is pretty scary. Is that what the monster in the mirror is? Probably. Turn on the light. Maybe it'll benefit us in some way. So where was the document room? Uh, no, that won't help us. So, document room... Ah, it's on the first floor. All the way down the first floor. You know what? We'll just live with it. We'll just keep on going, going, going. Keep on going to the document room. Ah la la la, go to the document room. We are going to find some documents about this place, about this place. I believe Pop is just a figment of your imagination. Imagination, little, little Will, William. Da na 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 If you buzz phones near his, sorry, if you buzz a phone noise near Keith, he may get angry. Document room. Pop? Pop? God, I found you. C come on down, Pop. Let's go. This place is just... You can't get down? W wait there. I'll get you down. Um, I don't think that's going to be necessary. Aim obtained tarot cards. 
okay, that's going to be very convenient. We can... Because I was worried that this was only one tile let it go. But now we can actually... Um... Oh, that's really convenient. A movable ladder. I think I screwed myself over. Yeah. We'll go back and reset. Right, so we can... We can't move it up. We can move it up here. It's not... Because there's a rat, a tabloid. The tragedy that befalls the homeless, the happy murderers. Are you familiar with a certain incident that occurred in the deep woods on the outskirts of Marvel Hill? Deep Woods Hospital, which once accommodated patients with mental illness, was abandoned in 1970 and long neglected. But it was later purchased, woods and all, by one Jim Cork. Famous millionaire and philanthropist, however you want to pronounce it. Cork made use of the old hospital as a shelter for the homeless, calling it priests to open a chapel and running a social action program. Yet all this came to an end when that gruesome with that gruesome incident. We would come to be called the Happy Murderers. One winter day, a priest in the chapel noticed something amiss with the shelter's residents. He attempted to question them as they kept suspiciously silent, and soon discovered five corpses in the building. The causes of her death all differed, from stabbing to strangling, and they were all found. They were also found in all different locations. Yet there was a common feature. The bodies were all in plain sight. Hey from a from a robe in the room okay after police questioning five amongst residents confessed to murder as to their motives they gave various reasons having an argument or having never liked their victim but they spoke not a word about the bodies hanging from ropes the police announced that the most recent corpse was three days dead and the oldest corpse has been dead for three weeks now you're noticing something bizarre aren't you in three weeks since the first murder, four other murders took place. And the homeless, residing in the shelter, decided not to report them, but to go on pretending they didn't see a thing. After the five criminals confessed and started their motives, they all made this final comment. Now, I've finally become happy. Court had the facility completely shut down and the homeless living there all dispersed, without even speaking of what had happened. Deep Woods Hospital has not been demolished nor renewed since the Happy Murders. It simply sits there quietly in the forest. Yeah. This is the incident of 50 years ago. Keith mentioned it was. Yikes, I shouldn't have read that. Me reading stuff like that only makes things worse. Obtain a tabloid. There's a rat up there. Okay, so we can push it up there. Uh, Pop, why are you running? Do you hate me now? No, it can't talk. It's gone back to its primordial status of actually being a rat. Oh, okay, so can we show this to... Thanks, Keith, if that's even you doing that. I am so happy you are doing this for me. A fire extinguisher. There's a building map posted up. Okie dokie, that's very nice. So, basement, first floor, second floor. Hmm. Take the map indeed, but this area is heavily cracked. Something bad must have happened here. Decayed over time. Something in there. Something's on top of the flower pot. Whoa, a headless doll. Why is it headless? And there's a string, so a string tied around it. Wait, is that hair? Hey. Jeez, what is it Sophie. Are you just hmm. So, you're well, right? I don't have the wrong person, do I? Oh, I'm glad I got it right. Okay, let's get going. You'll catch a cold. Stop. Stay away from me. You're 
that cafe girl, aren't you? Why do you know me? And, and you stood a hold for me earlier. I asked Amy. Amy was present, right? Huh? You asked? Yes. There is a circle going around here, Will. I'm David's friend. He's worried, don't you know? Okay, let's head home. H hey, wait a sec. I said wait! Let go of the stupid girl! Jeez, you're noisy. I'm just doing what I was asked, okay? What do you mean, asked? E explain yourself. <laughs> Did you even say Do you even say the description of your friend? You're not gonna say the description of her friend. Well I'm glad if we've got the assistance of Sophie Grandaba. All good times I've had. Oh okay, I thought a scene just happened there. Oh, okay. Let's be in here along the way. Let's disappear. Yeah. It's there was a doll here. It's gone. Was there really? You weren't just seeing things? You're doubting me? I really saw it. Jeez, no need to shout. You're all weird. Oh, goody. Exciting times. Let's see what's in this room. A notice has been left on the board. Dear Denny Sawyer has taken a long vacation for repercussion purposes. Just one person. Okie dokie. Switchboard. Doll. Is that where the doll was relocated? I think that we all can see things that other people cannot. Or maybe that's just the case of his symptoms since he was younger. Dirty with grime, very gross. Hey, maybe we should go upstairs to see Keith. Surprised that Sophie came in here with us. Golly. Golly. I'm really happy to have Sophie with us because it's just very nostalgic. If you played the Sandman, you know that. And also the Big Man as well, we thought about time. You know the joys of having Sophie with us. So uh, I think in this game, I think she's grown up a little bit. She was a real, real child back in the day. Back in the day when her father and herself were still fighting each other. I don't think it was fighting, but they never really talked. Counseling room. These should hold something important. A machine you don't really understand. I heard something like that from the crooked man. Remember the hospital there? A machine that you don't really understand. It seems like a very nostalgic piece of text right there. Oh, I love nostalgia. At the same time, it could be something that will bite you back. Gansing room two. I'm glad the map locates to each location. So it could be that majority of the time, when you pick up a map, that's the area you should focus your exploration on. Although at the times, especially like the other one where we need to go back to the document room, we need it to be experienced to relocate ourselves. Seat, 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 seat. Nothing in there. Okie dokie. Pile of sandbags covering up that room. Well, greetings. <laughs> Do you two know each other? Yep. I guess. Yep. Why are you here, Mr. Keith? Bored? You think I take my walks in places like this? It's for work, obviously. You're the one who needs to explain herself. David mm. said he was looking for his cousin, so I'm helping. But said cousin says he got separated from his friend, so I thought I'd help him. Nothing gets 
should shy away, huh? <laughs> I say you should just get out of here. Unless you two forget. This is technically private property. Yes, sir. Get going. I'm calling you to your pop up, Dopey. I, I know it. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Tell dear Richard Grundler about this incident. Um, there's something there actually. A toolbox on shelf out of reach. Can we uh, get something that will help us along the way? Hmm. Hmm. He's also my dad's client right now. Yeah. Client? Papa's job covers things like inheritance. And I guess he wants to write a will and testament. Yeah. A will and testament? He seems pretty young still. Old or not, people die. Yep. I guess so. Hey, is he really a detective? He's kind of nasty, stern, and scary. Which is it? I mean, every time we meet, he always teases me. Like calling me master, starving chicken. <laughs> That's terrible. Right? Okay, we're now developing something in common between these two characters. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know, but you know what? Story is always very important. Go here, 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 over here, down here, down here, over here, up here, dirty bed. Machine you don't really understand. All gonna fun. 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 Funny, fun, fun. This room. More places. So this is probably where kids played. Where they get? Okay, why am I thinking that? There's machines here. There's a people's paper on the desk. It's titled "A Conversation with Lisa Gardner." Okay, from Sam's point of view, Lisa, can you tell us about your pictures? Is that the boy who cried wolf? Yes, that's right. It seems you have a different ending. Did you make it? Yes, that's right. Why did the boy let the villagers die? Because he, because they didn't believe him. The boy was the one who lied. Isn't he the one who did something wrong? Growing up slow all the tide too. Ah, and all the villagers died? No, four of them are still on the run. What are they doing now? I don't know, but a wolf better eat them out soon. Why do they need to be eaten? Once all the bad grown-ups are gone, we can go anywhere. Hmm. A departure... In that you desire the ability to escape the rules of the adult. One day a shepherd boy saw a wolf meeting other wolves. They were talking about attacking the villagers and eating them. But the boy said nothing to the villagers. A few days later, lots of wolves attacked the village. The wolves ate lots of the villagers. The boy watched the villagers being eaten and shouted, It serves you right! You wanna believe me, so you got punished! That's great! Are you sure about that? No memes involved, but are you sure about that? Go in here now. More to discover along the way. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. I'm sure Sophie doesn't realize that your friend is a rat and not a person. Uh, he's, most of these rooms are pointless. They just fill up space in the game and make the player confused. Well, I would say if the answer is always in the next room alone, it would be a pretty boring game. So I've got that to credit for. Toilets. Even if I didn't know what the room was at the time, judging by how close the doors were, I'll guess they're toilets. And there's only two of them as well, so that makes it doubly obvious. Doubly obvious. Doubly obvious. There's a lot to explore in this game. There's something in here, alright. That pipe's broken. Shadow. There's a shadow in there. 
Shadow in there. Shadow in there. Shadow in there. There's a lovely shadow in that room over there. Nothing here. Something in here. There is something in here. There's but there's but dolphin. It's the doll that was in the flower pot. Wow. It was over there. Yep. You're sure of that? Are you saying the doll moved by itself? I'm not lying. It was really over there before. Seriously, you don't have to shout. No. There's a doll with hair wrapped around it in the toilet. It has no head. Can we find a head and put it on this doll? Definitely something there, a shadow of some sorts. But you don't have to shout, you can just explain yourself with supreme persuasion and smarties. Yes, eating smarties makes you smart. Remember that, kids. Remember how one gets through these places? Well, we don't know. We don't know, we do not know. Kitchen, 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 kitchen. Behind door number one, there's a note here. A staff member's diary. That Andy really creeps me out. He's always gathering people around the visiting area for some weird div divination. They're convinced we have to follow their fortunes. Sometimes they won't eat or won't take baths. Or they burn their own hands. The patient is 2103 is finally... Sorry, the patient in 2103 is finally getting sent to building 3. Thank goodness. That girl drove the doctor up the wall and sent him on vacation. And making a psychiatrist neurotic is no joke. Just watching her wander around makes me feel like I might lose it too. And he's not listening to me anymore. Says he's got a bad fortune, so he won't leave the room... He's just been cunning onto the table. We'll have to hope he dies that way. Lost a key to the library? Well, there's a spare, so I'll probably leave it. Besides, I don't want to get yelled at. Lost, a, lost the key to the library? Or lost the key in the library? Maybe that's where we got to look for next, in the library. So, these books, I imagine, gives us clues to where we need to go next. Hmm. Why do you have them? I picked them up earlier. Hmm. That's kind of nostalgic. One of my friends loves tarot. She used to give me readings all the time. <laughs> do you know what the cards mean? Oh, absolutely. My friend taught my fear off about them. I'll tell you if you want to know. Um, ask meaning. Okay, okay, next card. The Emperor? Um, in Boulder. And the reverse should be Tyranny. Tyranny. The Emperor? Okay, I've already done that one. The Magician. That means free. Reverse it and it means indecisive. Okay, okay. The Magician. Oh, damn it. Keep forgetting to switch. So do these mean something? Hermit. Hermit is reverse. It's probably solitude. He keeps saying probably. That card is judgment. It means salvation and regret. I feel like the tower was rude. Hmm. Reverse it and it becomes tension. Tension. I feel like that card is the hanged man. It has the meanings trial and remember. Important card. The death card? Um, the turning point. And the reverse, I think it's laziness. Oh, is that a hanged man card? You had another one? Hmm. I was given it. By who? I don't know. Eh? You don't know who gave it to you. About this card, what's its deal exactly? Is it a bad card? Hmm, I'm not too sure either. But I think it has a bunch of interpretations. You think so? If you look at this one, it looks like a man hanging from a branch and suffering, doesn't it? Yeah, but look it up the other way. Who knows if he was forcibly hanged or did it himself. Hence meanings like trial and self-sacrifice. But you see, look at it this way, and the man is on the branch, standing precariously, maybe even dancing. 
Not an especially bad card, then. Pretty much. Hmm. Good and bad. I'm glad we got the meaning of that. I really do. And check the bathroom. Bathtub, 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 drain, sink, drain, toilet, shelves. Anything else? Okay, we're gonna go to the library next. Library next, library next. Okay, that right up. Okay, so we're going to leave it off here today, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I know it's been a bit of a long episode, this one. But I guarantee you that it's going to be all worth it. So thank you very much for watching. And we shall see each other next time of The Handman. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.